Hi everyone, it's Ashley from Nurture the Knack. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to teach you about printmaking, insects, and the printmaking technique we're using is actually using recycled materials. I'm demonstrating how to draw a beetle today, um, but you could do butterflies, you could do ants, praying mantis, any, any insect that you like, whatever your favorite insect is. And the supplies are really basic. We just need black paint, a thick paintbrush, paint palette, recycled foam trays, white piece of paper, and anything to etch into your foam tray. So a plastic knife, chopstick. I'll be demonstrating the print with crowns shown here, just wax crowns, or soft pastels, so either or. So my paint trays, I use these foam trays for paint and sometimes they get hard and I don't want to use them after a certain amount of time, but they're, they can still be used for printmaking. So that's what I'm trying to do, trying to reduce the waste as much as possible. So another one here, been washed a few times, but it's getting a bit old, so I'll use it for printmaking. So this little tool I actually got from a manicure kit. So raid your manicure kit. You could use a chopstick, plastic knife, um, um, a pen even, a ballpoint pen could work. You don't want to cut a hole through it. You just want to leave an indentation and it's quite soft foam. So for the beetle, we're just going to do almost like a, an oval shape but with a little indent, a little triangle at the bottom and the same on the other side line across the top and his eyes do two circles on either side of his face. And then just a little like a rainbow shape on top connecting the two eyes together. And then his little antennas at the top here. Once you do that, go over your lines again, just a little bit firmer pressure, not too firm that you're going to punch a hole through the foam, but this just makes sure we have a really clear line when we do our printmaking. Next, you're going to draw a, a line down the center, connecting with the bottom of your bug, and then you could add polka dots, like a lady beetle, or lines, um, zigzag patterns, it's really up to you what you want to do. I'm just going to do a couple of curved lines on the wings here. And then the last step is to add his legs. So beetles have six legs, so you have three on each side. Okay, so this is it here. Next step is we're gonna grab our black paint with a paintbrush, just plain acrylic or poster paint. And then brush a thin layer of this over top of your drawing, your indentation drawing that you drew. Next step, you're going to grab a, your piece of paper and then with some firm pressure and flat hands, just kind of go in circular motions or um, back to front, just right across it. You can kind of see it, the pattern come through on the other side. So when you start seeing that, you know that it's um, taken hold and then slowly peel it away to reveal your print. So that is just the black and white version, but if you had pen uh, crowns, I'm sure pencil crowns would work, but I've just demonstrated soft pastel or crown today. So this is the soft pastel. I love these because they're really vibrant colors. With the dust, you can just simply blend it with your fingers or blow it away, blow it like a birthday candle. Gets rid of the dust. You can add, just do one color, or you can do rainbow colors, any, anything you like. I've chosen rainbow colors. And then you do the same thing. So black paint on top, just a thin layer, and then you flip your page over, put that on top of your print. Again, just smoothing out with a flat hand. And then you'll slowly peel the paper away to reveal your bug. 
and you can see it looks like a rainbow bug so it looks really beautiful you could add this to a greeting card or frame it for some homemade artwork the the possibilities are endless okay the next demonstration this is just with wax crown and same thing just coloring um, a background it doesn't have to be any particular design just covering your page with the color and then we'll do our print over top exact same process as the one with the soft pastel or without any pastel putting your paper on top smoothing it out firm pressure with a flat hand and then slowly peeling it away to reveal your print